All right, uh, in this video, we're going to convert from hexadecimal to decimal and then do the inverse operation going from decimal to hexadecimal. From hexadecimal is multiplication and addition, and from decimal to other number systems, including hex, is like um, division and subtraction. So it's dead easy when you know how, and this is how. So say we've been given uh, a hexadecimal number and you've been asked to convert it. So someone says, I don't know, convert A, B, 1, 3 from base 16, of course, into base 10. So we don't know what it is yet. All you need to do is realize the same with any number system, the rightmost digit which is the digit on the right is always the units and that's where you start so we've got one two three four bits we've got a four bit hexadecimal number so the first column is the ones then the next column is 16 times bigger and the next column is 16 times bigger again because it's base 16 and then the next column is 16 times bigger again because we've only got four digits we only need four hexadecimal columns we don't care about the other numbers so then we write the number in knowing that the three is in the units that's a b one three obviously base 16 we don't really need to write that 16 now because we're in hexadecimal place value anyway so it's pretty obvious that that's what the base is but you know if you want to put the little 16 to show it's in base 16 then why not and as I said before all we do is multiply and add and then it's job done but of course don't forget that each hex letter has got a number assigned to it so with hex because it's base 16 there are 16 unique characters that can each go in a single column and uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then instead of base 10 would then um, carry over we've got a is worth 10 B is 11 C is 12 D is 13 E is 14 and F is the 16th character which including 0 F has the value of 15 okay I don't know why I can't draw this F but there you go who cares so now what we do is multiply and add so there's an A in the 4096 column and remember we got the columns because every move left is a times 16 move because it's base 16 instead of times 10 for a base 10 number system so that's how you find out what your columns are you just in your calculator put 16 times what the last column was okay so a is worth 10 so this hex number is worth a lots of 4096 which is 10 lots of means times 10 times 4096 that's part of the number then we've got B lots of 256 B is 11 so we're going to add B or 11 lots of 256 and to multiply by 11 you just multiply by 10 and then add another one another lot on it's called partitioning and then we've got one lot of 16 so it's plus 1 times 16 and last but not least, well it is least actually because it's the least significant bit, so there you go. It is last and it is least. Three lots of one. Three times one. And then you find all these products and then you sum them. So the sum of products is going to be equal to 43,795. So the process was right. I just mucked it up when I used the calculator, but that doesn't matter. All of this is right. 
and it just shows us that how we can use our base n on the calculator which is pretty cool so that is how we go from hexadecimal to decimal you multiply there's your multiplies and there's your add so it's a sum of products you multiply this digit by what the columns worth and remember after 9 it turns into letters so a to f is 10 to 15 uh, respectively multiply and add we can all do that even if we do it wrong like I did but you know I'll save face on the next bit so we just did hex 2 decimal or base 16 to base 10 now we're going to do base 10 to base 16 so we're going to do the inverse operation this is I don't know maybe a tiny bit harder but it's not much harder with hex to decimal you multiply and add with decimal to hex you divide and subtract so you know it's only add multiply subtract and you know div divide big deal so let's think of a number in decimal that we're going to convert so let's say 2000 2000 in base 10 is what in base 16 well as ever we need to decide how many columns we need you're given the columns when you go from hex to decimal or from any number system to decimal you're shown how many columns you need because that's how long the number is but we don't know what bit length we need for our hex number so let's just start with the units and compare 2000 to that so there's the ones it's definitely bigger than that and then times 16 and then the next column is the 256s definitely bigger than that the next column is 16 times that which is four and four thousand sorry and 96 but we've only got 2000 here so we would have to put a zero there so there's no point in having a column that is bigger than the, than, than the number you're trying to represent because it would have a zero in it so we don't put leading zeros there's no point putting zeros in front of numbers because if we did we'd have to be fair we'd have to put infinite zeros in front of it and infinite zeros after and that doing infinite things takes a little bit of time to be fair so like we said to go from decimal to hex step one is divide by the largest column that you have the largest one that you need so it's going to be 2000 uh, divided by 256 so you get your calculator out you do 2000 divided by 256 it's bound to be less than 10 because 256 is bigger than a tenth so 7.81 so that's equal to 7.8 one and some in more we don't really care about the fractional part because we can't write that there's 7.8 lots of 256 in here we can't put decimal points or you know radix points all over the place all we can really deal with is say that there's at least seven lots of 256 in 2000 so seven is an allowable character in hexadecimal we don't need to convert it to a letter or anything so we put the integer part the whole number part of our division there but how much really is seven lots of two five six how much of our two thousand have we actually accounted for by putting a seven there so we need to say seven lots of two five six is seven lots of two hundred plus seven lots of fifty plus seven lots of six so use your calculator or use your head whichever seven lots of two five six is equal to 1792 a good year i'd say 1792 so put by putting that seven there we've accounted for this much of our 2000 but what's left well to find a difference you do subtraction so our original number take away what we've managed to represent by putting seven lots of two five six you subtract so you could either say 1792 
take away 2000 and then change the sign or 2000 take away 1792 is 208 so now we need to account for 208 in the other columns so we don't care about 2000 anymore the only number that we're interested in is 208 so step 2 is divide 208 by 16 the next column so 208 divided by 16 get your calculator out 208 divided by 16 well it's exactly 13 it's not often that it comes out to be an integer an absolute whole number so there's exactly 13 lots of 16 in 208 but what was how do we represent 13 again when we got to 10 it was a so 11 is b so 12 is c so 13 is d so we can't write 13 in there because the 13 is not a character uh, but d means 13 so we put a d in there that means 13 lots of 16 which makes up the 208 which is what was left over when we took 1792 away from 2000 and the 1792 was made up from seven lots of two five sixes so we've actually finished now there's no remainder at all because this was an integer it didn't have a fractional part if it did we'd have to put the remainder in the units column but we've we've exactly put 2000 2000 is definitely worth 7 lots of 256 added to 13 or D lots of 16 so there's no remainder so we put a 0 there so let's check our answer you go mode base n which is 4 and click on if we're in decimal our number was 2000 I usually press equals just to get it there and then press hex 7 D O 70 zero wicked we got it right we always get it right don't we apart from you know when we get it wrong so hopefully this has helped us to understand how to convert from both hex to decimal and decimal to hex if you go from hex to decimal you multiply and add if you go from decimal to hex you divide and subtract it's dead easy really um, any questions or comments just leave them on the bottom and uh, we'll go on to octal next which is like decimal if you're missing two thumbs and thanks for watching all right cheers